How's it going by and welcome back to Alien Isolation with me, Noble. I really want that. Can you give it to me? Alright, so. <clears throat> can't go and see her, but obviously we're going to be able to get in there later because it's like the stuff that might be interactable. Like monitor, for instance. Anybody got a flamethrower, shotgun, rocket launcher, nuclear weapon? Anything I can use to kill this thing? No? Okay. This actually reminds me of that one area on uh, the actual movie. I think it was the first movie on the ship. Zone. I have a funny feeling that's... Uh... <laughs> oh, hello. You must be the guy I gotta talk to. Can't collect after the all. Let's see if... Uh... Still doing that. Molotov? No, I've already put ethanol in there. Was it smoke bomb? Yeah, let's go ahead and make another smoke bomb. Get that ethanol used up. There we go. Gotta make as much room as we can. It's like the old uh, adage about... Uh, you know, ancient uh, Romans and stuff having their uh, binging parties where, you know, they just eat and eat and eat and then they throw up and then eat some more because... Oh, there is a flamethrower. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I need you. <laughs> I need you so badly. <clears throat> but, yeah, you know, just... They got to keep filling themselves, you know, uh, decadence through consumption, you know. Marlo? Who wants to know? My name's Ripley. I'm with the company. You got some bird tattoos on your wrist. Like a lady tattoo up near the elbow and the left arm, right I'm side here of us. I'm for personal reasons. My mother was on the Nostromo when Park with, uh, 15 years ago. Crossbones. Wow. Yeah, time really doesn't make uh, too good of a thing for people in this world. Just recorder. You go into cryo sleep and uh, what wake up and there? 20 years has passed. I need a way out of here, Ripley. Your kids are all grown. Just start talking. I want to know everything. But then your kids could freeze themselves and go on an adventure as well, and they're uh, younger than you, but they're physically uh, older than you, and all sorts of crazy stuff can happen. Kind of really depends on when you thaw yourself out. Come you freeze check. yourself in your you early... Get me, Lewis? Oh my gosh! A little fuzzy, Marlo, but you're coming through. Oh, Let's this isn't fire. just a cutscene. This is an interactive cutscene. Oh, this is cool! Though with this headset on, I kind of feel more like it's the uh, okay, enough already. Uh, on Space Marine for. thing. I don't like, want any mistakes. Made you wait long enough. Uh, Starcraft. Right? Oh, so who's got the rocket launcher? Nobody. Well, darn. Jump start our car though. Oh wow, that, that's a very old school one. I think this is a signal detector. Detection needle points to your objective. Okay, so there, I'm actually leading the expedition. Then. Monster Meeks, keep your eyes open. Okay, so not really a signal to follow. Or it's over here. Go that way. This is really cool. Do I have my inventory? Okay, that's the map, but I don't see anything. I'm not even showing the area we're in. And no inventory. I like the shoulder pad armor. <laughs> pretty obvious to me that you're just going to have to follow the trail they leave for you, because it isn't an infinity planet where you can just walk around aimlessly. I'm just going to put this down for a minute, because I feel like we're in a uh, confined trail to follow. That's probably why we can't see the map, because they don't want to show you the, the lanes you're going down. Leave all you slow folks behind. I can't run either. That's just 
unfortunate thing. And I'll get to run in this game. So this must be, I bet you this is the planet that they... I'm not waiting for you losers. I'll have a look around. See if I can find a weak spot. Wait here. Great. Find a rune around the blockade. Okay. At least some of you guys are showing list. up. Heist, over here. Give me a leg up. Ah. Seriously. Come here, please. I do like the dirt around the edges of the uh, glass, because it kind of gives that good feel of... Like you're actually in the suit, not just it's just a perfectly clean environment. Which one of you is giving me a leg up? Unless you're giving me a leg up and I went the wrong way, you know? He's got some samurai looking armor pads on his shoulders, some balderons. That's what I get for being too fast, and then I got slowed down by them. Come on, give me the. There we go. It wouldn't give me the uh, option. It explains why they have the armored pulver on. Checking it out. What if you don't come back? Then you wait some more. <laughs> it's like, can we abandon you? No. Well, that looks like death, and that looks like death, too. I don't want to do this over again, so let's not accidentally fall to our death. It kind of ruins the story, too, if uh, the man telling the story ends up dying. It's like quandary. So, yeah, nothing's going to kill me, but I bet you... Yeah, I'm good. Remember the woman that was dead? I don't think I'll be able to get back the way I came. Huh. Just watch yourself, you hear me? You remember the woman that was dead in the room uh, last episode that I went back and looked around? I think that was the lady that I uh, was just looking at's face when I was looking at the armor a second ago. Talking about the samurai armor. Because uh, I'm betting you that she ends up getting infected from this. And then we bring her to this... Uh, big old place and that's it. I would love to think about this universe being the exact same universe. Now I know for a fact, story wise, the Aliens universe is the same universe as uh, uh, what's his name? The Decker guy. Uh, uh, Blade Runner. It's the same universe as Blade Runner. That has been confirmed. You know, because in Blade Runner they had the advanced synth uh, people. And this world, they have the advanced uh, synth people. It's just different times, you know. I'm not sure. I, I want to say Blade Runner's happening at the same time, but it might be 100 years in the past, might be 100 years in the future. I just know it's supposed to be the same world. I believe it was uh, this last uh, Blade Runner movie. They actually had a uh, building that had a way of the symbol on it. Stand back. I'm going to blow it. So that's kind of a cool idea. In space, use bombs to clear paths for your friends. I'm gonna blow you up, Rock. I hate you. Bye bye. Wow, and then a rock hits me in the helmet and I fall over dead. <laughs> Are they coming through this way, or am I going through their way? Hi, right, buddy. Let's get going. Yeah, Follow she, me. She might be the one that died that we saw on the operating table. Let's face it, he's the only survivor anyway, so they're all going to die. It's just... Depends. Then again, maybe one of them gets infected, the alien gets loose, just like in the first Aliens movie, and kills the entire crew. Except for this guy and uh, one person, the female, that we saw on the operating table. 
and they're the only two survivors, and they get to that place when it happens. Heist, over here. Give me a leg. Again? Come on. This is a very, very um, active storytelling. It's like, and then we got to another set of rocks that I had to climb up. It's like, dude, seriously, just skip to the part where you find the aliens. We get it. That went a little quicker this time. <clears throat> I just realized there's some sweat on the screen, too. Maybe it wasn't there before, but it is now. You can actually see not just the dust, but sweat on the glass on the inside. Maybe it happened when he fell into his face. Well, hey! Yep, it's that ship again. <laughs> uh, now we're skipping ahead? Oh, wonderful. Couldn't you just told me about that briefly. Like, yeah, we got off the ship, I uh, had to blow up a rock, and uh, then we found an alien ship. You know? Well. At least you got your deep space ski pants on. We feel a lot safer now knowing you have that on you. But seriously, though, I mean, some full set of, like, samurai-looking armor would be a lot better than just having some shoulder pads, because you tear those uh, pants of yours and you're in trouble. You're in big trouble. Can you let me into the front, please? I'd, I'd like to actually leave you guys behind since you're so freaking slow. Yeah, passing lane. Yee! I did it. I'm curious what color his suit is. It looks like it might be a gray one. Because that guy's got yellow. That lady's got red. I think the other guy had blue. <clears throat> nope, nope, nope. Passing, passing, passing. Woo! Time first, baby. Woohoo! I want to say those two rods sticking out is like a microphone and speaker or something. There could be a pair of speakers to let you hear from left or right where the sound's coming from. Rather than like earbuds or something. I mean, the fact that we have to walk through the craters is bad enough. But the fact they expected you to... I mean, obviously the game designers made it like this. They expected you to actually find the correct trail would actually be a maze. It'd, it'd be like a literal maze. Like, oh, well, this is a dead end. Let's go the other way. Oh, no, that's a dead end, too. All right, let's go back to where we started and hit another area. Am I seriously going to have to wait for somebody to give me a boost into this? I'm going to find another way here. Yep, that's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Though, I gotta admit, going into an alien ship like this is not something I'd really want to do in real life. I'd be like, whoa. I mean, it's cool and stuff, but, um... Why does that look more like dirt? This ship should not have dirt in it. Not like this far in. What the hell do you think we're gonna find here, Model? Something big. I mean, finding a ship by itself is big. I'd be like, let's call, uh, well, space, uh, future NASA thing, because, uh, this is a big discovery, and I'm not going to be able to carry anything home that's going to be of awesomeness to, uh, tell the world about how cool what we did. That was not a correct sentence. i sorry for that. <laughs> An impressive display was not, uh, presentable, but the discovery itself would be amazing. I don't like how the lamp is like, you've seen it's actually in the middle of their helmet, it's actually aiming down at an angle, but it's casting it at my feet, and, you know, technically, in order to look, uh, have the flashlight high, I gotta lean, like, all the way back. Holy shit. Careful with what you touch. I don't want anything damaged. It's amazing. How old must this be? Oh, jeez, you how caught up to me. A cockpit? And make this a ship? It's a giant space <laughs> cannon! Look at it! Well, the first time I saw this in the first Aliens movie, the first thing I thought was that's like giant laser gun. Can it? We're wasting time. Have like as if around. this was some kind of like a uh, Bugs Bunny cartoon. Like, and I will fire my space laser. It was a life form. Now it's our property. Salvage rights. We need to stake our claim before anyone else does. Any 
Yeah, no. Then we'll take what we can and come back. Have a look around, see what else is here. Yeah, you are not carrying this thing back. And governments would very Track. easily like tell you to uh, disappear while they. You're not gonna like this. What is it? Tracks lead here. Same name that's on the flight recorder. Nostromo. Maybe they abandoned ship and landed here. I can see that. Shit. If they were here before us, why is there no record of this place? Well, if they're still alive, there goes our salvage. Let's find out. I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Oh, I can't find else finding I was going around because I thought there's no way I can get up. Check out the cavern below. I mean, I had to get helped up everywhere else. Let's go look at this Joker then. Side note, I haven't seen anything past Alien Resurrection because I quit caring. It's not human, I'm telling you that. Yeah, seriously, it looks like some kind of weird space alien cannon thingy. He is a Dovahkiin. He uses his thumb to power his ship. So where am I supposed to go? Over here? What you got for me, friend? That's some nice dirt you got there, huh? Seriously, where am I supposed to go? Yeah, I'm getting nothing. The fact I can't run is also annoying. This area is too big to not have a run action. Am I supposed to go into that? I bet you I'm supposed to go into that. Ah, crap. I just didn't really notice it before. It's the only place that looks different around here. Come on, go a little faster. Might be why he's like looking at dirt, because he's got to be nearby to give me a boost. Good boost, huh? I'm glad I'm getting the boost and not giving them, because that'd be kind of boring in a conversation. Seriously, did these guys not think to bring a step stool? Hmm, I'm going to go explore an alien planet. Oh look, an alien spaceship. Better leave the step stool behind. No, I'm not going to need it in this place. <coughs> a little aluminum ladder over your shoulder you might look silly, but you're going to be able to go a lot more places than these guys. Maybe some rope and a grappling hook so you can rappel down on things. Not that I want to be climbing or rappelling in a spacesuit anyway, but... Especially on a planet that has gravity, because I sure as heck can't jump. Meeks, I found the beacon. I'm gonna check it out. Are you sure this is the, the stress beacon? Because, uh... I feel like I walked into Alien Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory and it's like, hmm, job stoppers? That just looks disturbing. Are you sure you're shutting it down? Looks to me like you're just stroking a piece of equipment and hoping for the best. And you killed it. I don't know what happened, but the beacon stopped broadcasting. Man, you have got to see this. I also electrocuted myself. I'm gonna need like five minutes to rest. Ah, oh, someone hooked up a winch. They probably mentioned that. I just kind of talked through it. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> which means there's a hole somewhere, which means we're descending to a lower level. Which I think I remember in the first Aliens movie. I'm gonna have to watch the Aliens movie again. Maybe I'll do that on uh, Halloween. Which, uh,. I guess it's what, four episodes from now will be Halloween, so happy Halloween, everybody. I'll try to mention that again during that. I was up there. I'm pretty sure in Aliens, the egg chamber was underneath something, and I think I remember them winching themselves down to it. They better not make me have to carry somebody back, or an egg back, because that'll just be annoying having to do a mini-game of a carry the egg to the ship. I didn't even have to use this transponder locator thingy, because, uh... And like I said, it, it's just a straight trail. It wasn't like there was actually any other route you could have taken. 
go to sleep, little prince. This price just keeps on giving. Here, strap yourself in. Okay, did you guys bring these? Or were these here and I just didn't notice them? Maybe this was from the uh, other ship. The one from the Aliens movie. looking up in my own helmet. Why don't I look down in my own helmet? Good grief, how deep is this ship? Okay, we can't be in the ship anymore. Nope, we still are. Okay. Oh my god. Well, we all know what's about to happen here. Too fast, we're burning up. Yeah, so yeah, this is about like aliens, the movie. Nothing could go wrong here. What are you talking about? So who should I talk to? Somebody's about to get it. Yeah, I think that's the female. Yeah, she's in the red suit. It's the female that I saw earlier. Hmm, I'm gonna stick my face right in it. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> and that, my friends, is how you get an alien infection. Neosporin ain't curing that thing up. So like, couldn't you just skip to the good part where everybody started dying? I want to know more. Everything. Where's your ship? If we can break the comms lockdown, what are the codes to bring it in on auto? If you want more, my mustache here has gotten me out of here. Not happening, Marlon. Have to trim this thing up a little bit. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Wait. My board in the text bite lit up like a Christmas tree. It's here. Plan B. Set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay, this way. No, I do not want in. You're stupid if you're gonna put me in danger again. Uh, you're gonna give me the flamethrower, aren't you? Yes, you are. I take it back. You're my best friend now. Okay. Um, I was hoping for you know actual flamethrower fuel. I'm going to look at it for a minute, because, you know, once you carry it, you're not really going to get a good look at this thing again. I'm guessing somebody threw this thing together by the looks of it, because it looks like those are the fuel tanks we saw for the torches. Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. I hope you're right. <laughs> fuel, please? Nope. Um... Can I make fuel? Maybe that's something I get to do. Nope, I can't make fuel. So it feels like we're about filled up on our uh, list of things we can carry. Go ahead and change out my batteries and take this one real quick. Might as well top off while we can. Anything else I can take? I've got a plan to trap it. Take a transit car and meet Ricardo in the Sistech Spire. I'll coordinate from here. Uh, what's down that hall? I'm gonna save because I don't want to go through that all again if something goes wrong. Are you just gonna let me out? Okay. I'll miss you, friends. Oh, I can go in now. Lovely! It's like I'm no longer restricted in this place. How's it going? Sleep well. Don't let any aliens get inside your torso. 
Yeah. I'm going to get really pissed if, you know, before we escape, someone tries to embryo, uh, alien embryo implant us like they did in the Aliens, uh, the second movie. Which we should talk about what happened in San Cristobal. Because I feel like someone's going to try that. They're going to be like, okay, we're all going to escape on the ship together. Oh, before you go, here, uh, look at this egg real quick, you know? I'm talking about catching the specimen without killing it. This kind of stuff. You can be set up for life. I have the connections. I can set it up. You're getting old, Luke, you can't do this forever. And what are you going to do when Sebastopol closes? You have my number. Ransom out. So... Someone's trying to already do exactly what I just said. Get one of these creatures out of here. Well, I've never seen anything like it. Some kind of unknown parasite. I did a quick check. Oh my gosh, don't tell me we're gonna have to escape out of here. I think she came on board recently. Do you know anything about this? I like how fast I'm moving comparatively. But this should have been picked up during quarantine. Who knows what else they've let through? The patient and her captain are waiting for me in the examination room. Get down here now. Nothing in here. Okay. I was hoping there'd be some supplies at least. And I can run, I can sing, I can run, and I can sing. So, any more injectors I could use? Not there. Honestly, I don't really know much that needs injectors besides the uh, med kit. That's the only one off the top of my head I can think of. Put one of each of these in here just to free up some space. Yeah, I'm getting a little uh, fidgety here. Sorry about that. Yeah, nothing really wants to use the uh, injector except for the med kit. There's got to be another item we haven't picked up yet that needs. Injectors. <laughs> what do you got hiding from me in here? I'm a man on a mission for supplies. <laughs> Though I'm not really stopping to read everything. Uh, Let's see, page down. If you feel like you want to look at something, just look at it, pause it real quick. I know I really don't talk about that too much, but uh, if I sit here and try to read every single piece of information, it's going to be a real boring episode, and I'm going to cut it up. Usually these episodes, I try and record these all in a single sitting. By that I mean, I try not to make any cuts. Sometimes that can be boring, sort of like saving and stuff, but... Editing is already a pain in the butt, and I don't like editing, so I try to at least do everything the first time every time, you know? If something goes wrong, well, it's just in, you know? And then I usually do have to edit. Ooh, okay. I don't like that I didn't get any extra flamethrower ammo. Because 500 sounds like a lot, but I'm betting you it probably burns through it pretty quick, you know? Ugh. <sighs> Even my puns are burning me. I'm not going to doubt the alien is probably going to show up here soon. And I might have to quick it, flame it. Yeah. Ricardo's moving in ahead of you. I've sent your guy Samuels to Android Processing. Once this thing's dead, I'm going to get him to access Apollo and lift the lockdown. <laughs> They're going to kill one. I said he wanted to help and I have my hands full here. Besides, he's a synthetic. Should be easier for him to get in there. I 
guess. Look, Ripley, we're the only people standing between Sevastopol and outright disaster. Outright disaster has already happened, wait. Yeah, it has. I'm heading to... All we can do Lenwick now is Spire? kill that fucker. Engineering. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's the one I'm looking for. <laughs> the last one I walked to. You gotta think that these aren't just uh, trams. These are like personal trams. I mean, I, I kind of wonder how, you know, the design for the system would be for how things move about in this world. Is it like a bunch of connecting tracks and, you know, one tram comes one way, one comes the other, so then one gets on a side track and goes around it and jumps back on the same track and heads to the same location? Do they have problems with trams coming to the same location, getting kind of uh, backed up? Or is there only a single tram going between these two locations and you just got to wait for it like an elevator that goes to only two locations? If it's like an elevator, that's more of a problem. Because, you know, I'm sitting here pressing the button on my end and a tram just left 20 seconds ago and I missed it. So I gotta wait for it to get to the other side and then come back and go back to my side. And then I gotta hope I get onto it quick enough because what happens if everybody offloads and before you step on it, the door slams shut and takes off again because somebody else's group's coming over. Because they beat you to the button press. That that would suck. I would hope that it was a multi-tram system. Like two or three lanes where everybody's, you know, going or coming down different tracks and you got a pass track if something breaks down. Gemini Exoplanet Solutions? That sounds like an awesome company. I like looking at these old covers. It makes me think of like old 70s and 80s magazines, you know? That's this side, okay. I was just lucky this time because I was looking at the magazines here. And time to go stealthy. <laughs> and I hear the xenomorph. The fact that the single xenomorph is now where I am, it shows you that it's not just one. Because why isn't it still in um, medical? It stayed in medical for the longest time earlier. So it, it cannot be one alien. I know this. They should figure this out. The reason they don't is because it makes it more dramatic, dramatic for them. You know, being, oh no, I didn't see this coming. Everybody else saw it coming. We know we're leaving out of here because this is how we're going to get back to that hub. So, uh, unusable system. Deactivate that. Yeah, speaker system sounds like it's a bad idea since that's the direction I'm going to be heading towards. But, I'm going to keep this open because uh, <clears throat> if the Xenomorph does show up and it's following me, like it's up in that area, I can hit that button and keep it locked up there while I'm hitting the transit button to get out of here, you know? Oh. Let's hope this Joker doesn't show up in a second or two. What about you? Can I cut through you yet? Plasma torch, of course. Because you cannot go to places you want to go until you get the right things to go there. Eh. Ooh. Okay, this is where the speaker system was showing. No weapons allowed. Oh, I do not like this area already. I just got a flamethrower. You're going to tell me I have to put it away? That's what I'm looking for. You made a lot of noise. I don't like that. But yeah, let's let's say I'm coming down here and I hear the xenomorphs coming up behind me. I'm going right for that panel. I'm going to open it up and say, hey, listen to this. Keep yourself distracted up there while I'm uh, trying to stay alive. Because it was a speaker system, so I assume that means it's going to make a lot of noise. Yeah, I hit that on accident. Workspace Solutions. That door is jammed or at least shut, so I'm going to go the other side. I bet you there's some loot on the other side. 
Games like to do that. They give you something that you want, you gotta go all the way around and get it. I'm actually really glad I came this way because this is not the direction that we needed to go. Weird uh, Tetris. Odd letter C. And this thing. <gasps> Flamethrower fuel. It was worth coming in here. More flamethrower fuel. This is a cash cow. I love it. Oh, I don't like it anymore. Hughes, it's Ransom. I just got your query. Yes, I have been in our transmission relay archive, and I've done some decrypting. I'm looking for crew logs that passed through Sevastopol a while ago. I know you're concerned, but it's ancient history. It's just some stuff I need to know. A routine company transmission packet sent from the edge of Thetis before a ship started its trip home. Nothing that's going to break anything. And it broke everything. Science officer's initial log. I've been installed on board. Okay, I'm still here. Good. I was worried that I was going to leave and not hear anything. Have access to the ship's mother 6000 mainframe. I actually got an elevator on this side. I didn't see that coming. I don't have a use for it, I don't think, because this is on this side. But I might have to come back here later. Yeah, it looks like it's off. That's useful. All that's left is to hope for a productive journey. Ash signing off. I see you, Mr. Corpse. You're gonna have some items on you. Let's hope the Xeno doesn't come up behind me, because that'd be bad. A med kit, you say? Well, I'm guessing that means that if I get hurt, I can come here and get healed up. It's probably a, a medical injector. They said a med kit, though, for some reason. I could just threw the thing on top of the body. Almost. So you had a med kit injector and a med kit. Okay. So yeah, if I lose a, a health kit or two, then I'll make sure to come back here and utilize it. The towers we have to head to. I'm going to do the smart thing and hit the button to get the tram here to start with. That way, when we get back, hopefully the tram will be on my side and not waiting. But, let's face it, if I go through a couple loading screens, it probably won't keep the tram on my side. I'm just hoping it will, and I'm just thinking ahead for that one purpose. One of those wait and sees, I guess. Quite far away, but then again, you never know when it's closer than you think. Passcode required, but I do not have that thing. I don't think I get around this corner quick enough to get into that. I'm a little upset this room doesn't have one of those emergency shutdowns. Oh, it's a fan! I was like, what is that sound? I thought it was like heavy footsteps. Stop giving me a heart attack, game! I don't want to go through that because I bet you an alarm system is going to go off if I cross through it. Nothing like having a security point that's uh, bypassable, right? Bonding agent? Well, I don't mind if I do. Haha, <laughs> I beat your security. But yeah, I bet you that sign uh, alarm would have gone off. Okay, so it doors locked, so we'll get this open and then I'll have to walk through here. If I'm getting chased by an alien, you'd think you'd want to go through the thing real quick, but nah. Slow and steady wins a race in this game. Hence why I'm always on my hands and knees crawling everywhere. Quietly sneaking wherever I go.
Got any loot over here? No, no loot. I kind of go in here. Jeez! Thanks for the jump scare game. And I'm dead. No. Oh, game. How could you? I just got done sneaking around because I thought it'd uh, be better for me. And now I made all this noise and fiery explosions. How much damage do I take? Oh, gotta be kidding me. Um. And stay down. Oh boy. Bad robot. Okay, um. That was bad. No good there. Are you telling me I actually have to go through the fire room to get into the stuff to stop the fire? I figured you'd give me something to do on this side. And I got burned. Yeah, I'm slowly taking damage, so I need to figure out where I need to go fast. That's gotta be it. Don't know why fire suppression wouldn't be automatic in this kind of situation. Ooh. Who left the high explosives active? Well, I'm full on these things. Golly goodness. It's not super close yet. But we don't know that. Well, that changes pretty quick in this game. Man, this game scared the crap out of me and blew up a building at the same time. That was basically the lunch bell to the Xenomorph. The thing is, if I die before I find a save point, then I'm going to be having to do this over again. I don't want to get blown up twice. No one wants to get blown up twice. Wait, what's wrong with this station? It's always been falling apart, but because of the decommission, a lot of the systems have been shut down. Add to the fact that everyone's too busy trying to stay alive to maintain anything, and you end up with goddamn chaos. We've been here before, haven't we? Isn't this the place where, um... Maybe it's not. Freaking explosion should have got everybody in the area's attention. My friend said he saw it. So somebody can get away. If we see it, we just run. Just gonna hide here on the stairs. I'm not a human, I'm just a small oval shaped object. Feels like a graveyard, huh? There's just an explosion in the next room over, and you're just sitting there thinking about, you know, oh man, Crest Station like a graveyard. Should be sitting there going, what the heck just blew up in the other room, and why aren't we uh, getting out of this area before the Should fire spreads? Back there. I know we're hungry, but man, this feels so wrong. I gotta sleep soon. Hacking, you say? More of this, you say? Sign me up. Oop. Feels like we're standing around waiting to die. I don't like this way. Let's try and go the other way. That guy gets done checking pretty quick. It's your idea, not mine. I kind of feel like these guys are, one of them's supposed to see me and start some triggered event, you know. 
fire their gun off and then get the alien coming after us. Because there's no way I can get past that guy without him seeing me. But I'm sure if I can get past him on this side. You gotta be kidding me. This is some bullshit. Did something back there just explode? That's the least of your problems. The creatures nearby. You heard the lady? Oh, thank Let's goodness. Go. They're not actually violent. Oh, I didn't have to kill them. I feel so good about not having to kill people. Most of the time in games, it's like, hey, I get to kill somebody. And this time, it's like, these are just poor survivors trying to survive themselves. I wonder how many people in the same scenario shot those guys without thinking. Just shot them straight up. I saw the guy from down the hall. I can't remember his name. The one in the dirty baseball cap and weird smell. But didn't we have to hack this door open in the beginning? I think it was a gun. Just look right through me. Don't talk to anyone. Don't tell them where you're going. And somebody executed this guy. <clears throat> there was a body on this side too, so I'm gonna look at that one. Item maxed. Okay. We couldn't have come here before because this area wouldn't have been or would have been filled in if it had been, so I already know I'm wrong. It's just an area very similar to the other area. You know, talk about the area that I got killed at the first time from the Xenomorph. It's almost set up the exact same way. It was like a cafe on this side. Uh, yeah, turn off purification. Yeah, make it hard for everybody, including me, to see. That was a smart idea, since the Xenomorph isn't even here right now. Apparently it's only that half of the ship that's getting smokied. Okay, brilliant scientist, where are we going? Apparently there's just an access point downstairs. No need for me to do that. Yeah, see, it's got a cafe just like the other one. So maybe just a modular building because it's built the same way as the other one. Okay. This place looks safe. The creatures here, you need to leave. There's nowhere to go. The mall outside the Marshall Bureau is the safest place. Okay, okay. Thanks. This really doesn't feel right, does it? Well, if you casually walk away, I'll feel safer knowing that you're not going to attract it. But it sounds like it's awfully close. Oh, yeah. This has got to be a bad dream. Or a worse nightmare kind of situation. <clears throat> I kind of feel good that I gave that lady instructions to leave and she actually left. Most games would be like, I'm not leaving, this is my hiding place. And then they get killed like eight minutes later. It'd be really cool if that's the way this game's gonna be, you know, for the rest of the game I have the option either to kill or to save, you know? I like the saving option. Okay. I know it's been a slow Wait, creature. How are we gonna seal it in? The Spire was built to process high-value compounds dredged up from the gas giant. Piracy precautions are still in place. The tower can be shut off, vents, doors, everything. So, you build a cage around the creature, then Ricardo locks it down. I like the sounds of that behind me.
Come on. Hit the right button this time. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is the way we're supposed to go. <coughs> yeah. Okay, just like before. Except no one had to die this time. If there was bodies, I'd be wondering why they weren't dragged away. Or if they were dragged away, because they weren't there anymore. That's another awesome view. In the sense of a space station, this is a horrible design, but it looks really cool, though. It's like, yeah, you know, there's an explosion in this tower. It sent uh, exploding fragments into the other tower and damaged it, too. Why not just contain everything behind some armored cheating? Okay. It's behind stairwell number one. Nothing! What's opening? Is something down here? I heard a door open and I didn't do it. It's like an elevator down here. Ethanol. Alcohol. I'm assuming that'd be an easy enough Molotov to make to strap a, f uh, a flare to the side of a uh, bottle of alcohol, light it and toss it, and hope uh, it ignites on impact. Oh my gosh, how much do I have? 650! Th this flamethrower is not going to last very long at all, if that's the case. Okay, Molotov, can I make another one? I can, good. Are you telling me that's as many as I can make? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. I'll have to use a Molotov before I use uh, one of these. I mean, before I use the flamethrower. So I can only carry three Molotov. I guess I can carry three of everything, except for flares, revolver, that kind of thing. Well, that's a bunch of suck. But, you gotta do what you gotta do. I gotta... Okay, RB to aim, press hold R to place it. So it is capable of being a landmine right now. The thing is, though, I need to know where the creature's gonna go in order to set up as a landmine. Entrance is dead ahead. Use the terminal and reception to open the door. Technically, this is also like a tiny little candle. I can use it for micro lighting, so I don't have to use my flashlight. See what I mean? So I think I'll start using these torches when I'm crawling through here, so I don't have to actually use my flashlight. Freaking Zeno's gonna pop down in a second to eat my face. No idea where this is coming out at, but... Hey, I'm in the same area as before. Wait, I've opened this? Have I actually been here before? I have been here before. Oh, no. I have come... This has to be the same place as before. I've, already... I've gone full circle. Oh, crap. So that probably means I took this elevator last time. That means I left the ethanol behind last time as well. That's the only problem about the Molotov. It is affecting my night vision in the sense of being able to see whether or not something's to my right because of the flaming bottles kind of obscuring underneath my portrait. Guess I didn't need it then, I don't need it now. Oh. Wrong button. That's the only problem. Tab is right next to Q, and one does one option, and one brings up the map. Oh boy. 
I've gone full circle, and now I'm re-entering this area. I think this is the... No, this can't be the area where the robots were... Isn't it? This is the area where the robots were, like, uh, trying to murder me last time. In the first episode of this uh, year. So wasn't there a robot in there, and it's like... No, maybe not. I am so confused, I have no idea anymore. Oh boy. I would hate to accidentally save it like five seconds before I'm murdered, and then, you know, you load back up the next save, then you get murdered again. It's like, well, that's an infinite loop of failure. Ricardo's finalizing the lockdown. You need to close the security doors all around the stairwell. Then the supply storage, maintenance access, and server hub reception. Report in as you go. I feel like this is the room I was in when the Xenomorph attacked for the first time. You know what I mean? Oh, jeez. I also see time's running out, so we're going to have to end this episode fairly soon. Hopefully before anything major occurs. So I would rather not end the episode with a panicked hiding. I think I heard a voice. Yep, somebody's here. Okay, just in case. I I'm pretty sure we've been here. Not 110%, but pretty sure. Like... Isn't this where we got something? I don't even know anymore. There's another person over here. <clears throat> and part of me wants to go up and say hi. The other part of me wants to not have to say hi with this. Especially with that thing running around. Zero four eight two. Well, that's good to know. Keep your head together. You can do it. I feel like he just came out of the air ducts and she's gonna die. I'm glad I didn't have to shoot her. Zero four eight two was it? Okay, let me just. You know what? We're at the time again. I'm just gonna go ahead and end the episode and. I'm going to go over the, the information, try to figure out where that door is so I can put in the code. But anyway, thank you everybody for stopping by and joining me. If you liked it, hit that like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have, eh, you feel like you hit that bell icon. Anyway, and uh, leave a comment below with your thoughts and opinions of this and other things. Until next time, take care, be safe out there, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.